Well, I guess we're recording. And here we go. Today we're going to be recording the first part of Soleil for the Sega Genesis. It's kind of like Legend of Zelda for the Sega Genesis. And unfortunately, there's still this problem with the audio recorder that if I'm recording at the same time, it seems to bug out with the uh, sound in this. So I just kind of watch the opening here. Uh, I'm not horribly familiar with everything about this game yet. Countless monsters died who had no resistance to the light. And another seemingly endless time passed. Yeah, this is endless, alright. So I don't know who remember who exactly developed this. I believe it was a French company. And uh, that's not exactly what explains the name. Like, Soleil is actually its English name. Or I should say, like, American name. Because its true name was, like, Century Crusader or something like that. Crusader Century. Monsters did not become extinct. And there's a, uh, there's a certain cameo in this game that will uh, come up at some point. It's not even like a uh, easter egg, like you can avoid seeing it, it's like right in your way, you end up seeing it regardless. And I thought it would be deeper into the game too, but it turns out it's not. Okay, here we go. I'm probably totally butchering that name. Cirque de Soleil. Some spelling. Alright. I have a file. We're not going to be playing that file. Although the name is... I don't know. It was kind of a name. And then it was a lot funnier when we got in. Well, we already have that, so let's just be famous. The dialogue makes it funny. As childish as it is, but you're watching me play video games on the internet. That's childish in itself. So here we go. And now the moment you've been waiting for. A birthday party for Penis. Thank you all for coming here today. Happy birthday, Penis. You're now 14 years old. Shut up and laugh. It's childish. But without a sword, how can I defend myself? So yeah. Ah. Now my my joypad's acting a bit funny. So here are our friends, Pico, Bull, show off you little bastard, and Alice. And now we're mostly just waiting. Because we can't leave. I think we just talk to everybody again or just waste some time. We're just gonna keep talking to Alice. Wait for that stupid event to trigger. I already have to talk about them too. Nope. Fuck. Trigger, damn it. There we go. 
celebrating a big hero signed up. So now we get to go out in the village. Yay, here's our dog. Johnny. Wolf, wolf. Wolf. <laughs> oh, shut up, it's still funny. The old man, he tells us about medals. I see you're not old enough to carry a sword, Venus. Have you heard about the medals? No, I've not. The turning ground consists of beginners, intermediate, and expert courses, where you can earn bronze, silver, and gold medals, respectively. Once you've achieved enough to earn all the three medals, take them to the king and he will exchange them for the holy sword, the true sign of a hero. Oh, that's cool. God, there's definitely nothing in time. We won't bother with these people until we fucking have to, if we have to. I'm not that far in. This guy here. Dahlia Valley is a weird place where monsters keep appearing. Before you go there, you must learn the training ground how to throw your sword. Uh, the king! Looks like a penguin. Well done, Online. Here's your reward. Ta-da! Thank you, Highness. This sword will help keep me. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yes, Your Highness. What's up? That sword, you must be penis. I've come to report my 14th birthday. I get to go to the training room. Train hard, young boy. Haha, <laughs> get it? Telling penis to train hard. Whack, whack. Yeah, hitting with your sword kind of kills all your forward momentum. You must be penis. What a fucking excellent name you have there. Uh, I'm an expert sword thrower. You are very lucky, my boy. For just 20 melons, I'll teach you the art of sword throwing. Look like you don't have enough money. Come back when you have more. Uh, okay, so... Anybody else remember Ocarina of Time? We have to go and farm a bunch of coins at the start. Guess what we get to do again? Farm a ton of fucking coins at the start. So, where is Zelda gave you items, though? You know, you get the different items, like the boomerang. And, oh, man, it's desyncing the audio. Hmm... <sighs> You get the boomerang, you get the bullhorn bracelet thingy, and you get the, uh, ugh, what else was it? The feather that makes you jump. I guess we just learn abilities. People are just like, hey, penis, how's it going? You can do this now, by the way. I'm like, oh, thanks. The apples are your health bar. You get more of them. Those other ones contain spikes. Um, so yes, I am playing this not on a keyboard, but on a controller. It was actually really easy as um, Xbox pads can be used as controllers. On your PC. All the coins always spawn under the same exact ones. I just forget what they all are. I know an amount of them. One more. Is 
sense anymore. There's no more down there. I remember that. So we just have to go get our 20 coins, and we go back to dude, and dude's all like, hey, can you just can throw a sword? No. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Fucking bees! The bees actually cannot hurt you, they just push you into stuff, because they're jerks. Jerk-ass jerk bees. Yeah! The bees are following me. Ow, spikes. Oh, yeah. So that's just what their bees are meant to do. They're just meant to be assholes. Dude. Oh. Alright, we have 25 coins. This dude's gonna teach us. I hate how walking in grass and walking on stairs slows you down. Fortunately, we get an ability later on, but we're just gonna kinda ignore that. Yeah, just repeat yourself. We've not heard that before. Yeah, teach me. Abracadabra! Now you can charge and throw your shit. Let's go fuck those bees up. No, you can't actually fuck the bees up. Yeah, that ability is pretty wonderful. Also, you can just do this again. Walking's pretty tedious. And by pretty tedious, I mean it's quite tedious. Ow! Urgh. So those ones kind of act like a fuse. Ha ha! It's all the Legend of Zelda training. Spend a while dodging cuckoos and Kikario Village. You get pretty good at that. Yeah. That's a lot easier than they want it to be. They're <laughs> like, we'll put moving spike platforms and it'll be difficult. Turns out it's not. It's not at all difficult. Give me that fucking hell. Yeah. Alright, so we got the uh, bronze medal. We didn't have to get it yet, you just can, and there's no reason not to while you're there. No penalty for having it, really. Cow in a cart. Damn. Damn. Alright, so next thing we do, talk to this dude. My sister's at Dolio Valley, and my nephew's at the trading ground. Everyone's in a dangerous situation. I can't go home because I don't know how to throw my sword. Conveniently, sir. I do. Let's go. Go do that thing with that lady. Da 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 da. Yeah, that sound effect's going on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, this music sounds insanely familiar. Like, I should know it, but I forget where from. I almost want to say it kind of sounds like Mario 2. Mario. Like, get out of my face. Just to be a little amadillo thing. Yeah, so they... Why are they turtles? They're turtles. Anyways, they drop out of the little hole thingies. Oh. Walk this list on. Even worse, that sounds like bird makes. Just match the attack when they get close, you'll pretty much nail them. I think it just reminds me of the Mario one. It's not actually the Mario one, like at all. No, oh, fuck you. Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, we didn't have to actually go up there at all. No! Oh. Yes! The Big Bad Wolf. You'll even come out of the fireplace. So you can take a place! Ha ha! Yeah, how about not? Bonk. Um, don't know if this is actually the best way to do it. One that works out. Damn it! Stupid wolf. Just kind of wait for him to throw those things out and then. Damn it! Again! Okay, so I can't hit him for anything this time. Jesus. No. Can I leave? No, of course I can't. Got him. Penis's maximum health points increased. Narration! Oh, thank you. Fucking hell, they're like, yeah, hide in the fireplace. There's a, there's a monster coming. I think there's a little boy named Penis who's going to show up to save you. I would question some of these credentials at that point. Why can't we hide in there? Yeah, look at that. We have an extra health bar, basically, is what happened. So that's what we get to do. Extra health bar. So we're going to get a few of those throughout the course of the game. No! I pressed up! Which is still wrong, but regardless. Alright, so we can go tell old ass guy that we saved his sister, because he's weak. Also, that we think his face is stupid. Thank you so much! Uh. Jesus guy. Alright, so if you talk to his nephew at the training grounds, he'll say something about Remember going into the west side of Soleil? You know, since that's where we live. And if you're like, yeah, he's like, oh, you're still a kid. If you're like, no, he's like, yeah, because we're old. Talking about this place. 
with its kind of jaunty music. Yeah! That doesn't really do anything. First time through, I didn't really talk to any of the people. We slides. Fortune teller is having a white flower. Not joking, it's true. The fortune teller's house is open. Why don't I go visit? She doesn't only tell fortune, she gives good advice, too. Yay! So you can kind of access your ability before you get it. You can't really hit it either. You just kind of fall into the hole. Which serves no real purpose yet. So here we are. Take the Soikis. Ah! Damn it! Pumpkin bites. This is a mermaid. As you can tell by her name, she will sell us health, but it will cost us 800 coins. That's a lot of coins. Hi, little fortune lady. Want me to your future? No, that's free. I'm going to change the world for the better. Or for the worse. Soon there will be a change in myself. See what I wasn't able to before? I mustn't give up. Man, she's gone. Alright. So now I can talk to flowers. Oh, you're gonna understand me like the fortune teller. Human, come, you have a long way. If you can talk to me, you can talk to other animals. I've just remembered the fortune teller said that she is going to the irises. Well, uh, as the flower said, we can talk to animals now. And that flower stands in my way. There we go. And throw. So now we're gonna go talk to her dog. Oh, Paranus, yesterday's meal was delicious. Huh? You understand what I'm saying? Hmm. I see. You met that weird fortune teller, didn't you? Don't worry. He'll be back to normal. I'll help you find her. Johnny the dog, Johnny. Press start and discover his special ability. I'll bite the enemy to stop him. Stop moving by touch. I wonder if it changes based on. Nope. So you press C to do a special ability, which is um. Yeah, he's useful. I hope that actually does something, because I've just found it to be worthless aside from an extra sprite on screen. It's really about all he is. Let's go to the castle. Is it up here? Yes. this guy. We can't talk to humans anymore, unfortunately. I was playing and I thought I ran into some sort of copyright thing. By the way, this is emulated. Uh, he talks about you shouldn't be in here and blah blah blah. He's taking a leak. But we can totally jump in the toilet. It's wonderful. It's ever so wonderful. Yeah, we can't talk to our- oh yeah, there's animals. I'm a royal dog! I don't live in a kennel, this is my room. 